Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quartic equation x to the power 4 plus 9x cubed plus 15x squared minus 8 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. If we divide this constant 8 by the coefficient of this x to the power 4 1, if we divide 8 by 1 we get 8. And factors of 8 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 4. If we check this 1, this is not a solution. If we check this 2, this is not a solution. 3 not a solution and 4 is not a solution. So to find the solutions of this equation, let's use another trick. We suppose that this quartic expression at the left hand side is the product of two quadratic factors let's say x squared plus a times x plus b times x squared plus c times x plus d is equal to 0. If we expand this expression this will become x to the power 4 plus a plus c times x cubed plus a times c plus b plus d times x squared plus a times d plus b times c times x plus b times d is equal to 0. Now we compare the coefficient of this x cubed a plus c with this 9. So, we get an equation a plus c is equal to 9. And uh, if we compare this uh, coefficient of x squared ac plus b plus d with this coefficient of x squared 15, we get another equation that is a times c plus b plus d is equal to 15. And if we compare this uh, Coefficient of x ad plus bc, here we have no term with x, it means that here we have plus 0 times x. So we compare this coefficient with this 0. We get another equation a times d plus b times c is equal to 0. And we compare this constant b times d with this constant negative 8. So, we get another equation b times d is equal to negative 8. And for this equation b times d is equal to negative 8, we have two cases. In case 1, we have b times d is equal to 1 times negative 8. And the second case is b times d is equal to negative 1 times 8. This is case number 1 and this is case number 2. First for this case we have b is equal to this 1 and d is equal to this negative 8. From this equation a plus c is equal to 9. If we move this a to the right hand side this implies that c is equal to 9 minus a. Now, in this equation, a times d plus b times c, we put these values. We write down this equation here. a times d plus b times c is equal to 0. Since d is negative 8, so a times d will become negative 8a plus b times c will become b is 1 and c is 9 minus a. So, 1 times 9 minus a, 9 minus a is equal to 0. Move this 9 to the right hand side and add these two terms, this will become negative 9 times a is equal to negative 9. This implies that a is equal to 1. And using this equation, we can find the value of c. c is equal to 9 minus a is 1 and c is equal to 8. 
so for this case uh, we get uh, c8 a1 and b1 and c negative 8 now we check these values of a b c and d in this equation a c plus b plus d is equal to 15 and see that uh, whether the left hand side is equal to the right hand side or not so we copy this equation here a times c plus b plus d is equal to 15. Since a is 1 and c is 8, so this will become this will become 1 times 8 and b is 1, so here we write plus 1 plus d is negative 8, we write negative 8. Is this equal to this 15. Now 1 time 8 is 8 plus 1 and plus minus will become negative 8 is this equal to 15 and 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 minus 8 is 1 and 1 is not equal to 15. It means that from this case we get no solutions. Now we solve the second case. From this the second case uh, we have b is equal to negative 1 and d is equal to positive 8. And from here we have c is equal to 9 minus a. So in this equation we check these values. We copy this equation here. The equation is uh, ad plus bc is equal to 0. A times D plus B times C is equal to 0. Since D is 8, so this AD will become 8 times A. We have B negative 1, so this BC will become negative 1 times this value of C 9 minus A, 9 minus A is equal to 0. Remove brackets, this will become 8 times A minus 9 plus a is equal to 0. Move this negative 9 to the right hand side and this 8a plus 1a will become 9a. Negative 9 will become positive 9 at right hand side and this implies that uh, a is equal to 1. Using this equation c is equal to 9 minus a we can find c. c will be equal to 9 minus 1 and c will be equal to 8. So from this case uh, we get uh, a is equal to 1, c is equal to 8, b negative 1 and d positive 8. Now we check these values of a, b, c and d in this equation. So this will become a times c. a is 1, c is 8. So this will become 1 times 8 and b is negative 1 so here we write negative 1 d is 8 here we write plus 8 is this equal to this 15 and this 1 time 8 will become 8 negative 1 plus 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 and 8 plus 7 is 15 is equal to 15 so this is true it means that uh, this has solutions. So we write down these values of uh, a1, b negative 1, c8 and d8 here. a is 1, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to 8, d is also equal to 8 and we recall that uh, we have supposed in the beginning we have supposed that uh, this expression at the left hand side is a product of uh, two quadratic factors we have supposed that uh, this uh, quadratic expression at the left hand side is a product of uh, these two quadratic factors so using these values of a b c and d we find those two quadratic factors. First factor will become x 
squared plus a x a is 1 so this will become plus x and b is uh, negative 1 so here we write negative 1 and the second factor is uh, x squared plus uh, c is 8 so c x will become 8 x plus uh, d is also 8 so here we write 8 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression x squared plus uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus uh, 8 times x plus uh, 8 is equal to 0. From this uh, quadratic equation x will be equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times this c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 will become plus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x will be equal to negative 1 negative 1 plus minus root 1 plus 4 will become 5 divided by 2 this is the first and second value of x now from this quadratic equation according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 8 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 8 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of this 8 squared is 64 and negative 4 times 1 times 8 is negative 32 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 8 plus minus square root of this 64 minus 32 will become 32 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 8 plus minus this root 32 is same as root 16 times root 2 divided by 2 and x will be equal to negative 8 plus minus uh, root 16 will become 4 times uh, root 2 divided by 2. Now from the numerator we can factor out 2. So this will become x is equal to 2 as common factor in bracket left negative 4 plus minus 2 times uh, root 2 divided by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, other two solutions uh, x3 uh, and 4 is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 2 times uh, root 2 and first we found that uh, x1 and 2 is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. So we have uh, four real solutions for this equation x1 and 2 is uh, negative 1 plus minus root 5 over 2 and x3 and 4 is equal to negative 4 plus minus 2 times root 2.